welcome back to a new episode of what I got for Hanukkah this year and th this episode we're gonna be exploring nights number three and four and we are getting really really good so far so let's get started now for the first gift that I got on the third night of Hanukkah is is this beautiful um beanie hat for uh, the winter and it's Ravenclaw themed and I really love this hat because it's very useful and it's very stylish and because I'm a full on Ravenclaw I'm really lucky to have this and I also just love the little pom beanie isn't that kinda cute? Ravenclaw power! Ah! Now the next gift that I got for the third night of Hanukkah is Joanne, Lady Gaga's new album, Joanne. I am so happy that I got this for the third night of Hanukkah. I mean, yes. What I find really great about this album is I really liked that she takes a break from all of her usual techno uh, classics such as Just Dance or Telephone or Born This Way or all these different classics and she really dives into different genres of music like she tries to be like she mixes it up with like Chuck Berry themed or rock and roll or any types of genre of music and she really mixes in well with this album I mean I already uh, listened to it a couple times and I really love it so that's what I got for the third night. Now the other gift I got for the third night of Hanukkah is the epic Targaryen t-shirt. Oh my god. Yes. I know what you're thinking. I know to some of you who haven't really seen Game of Thrones or even saw the show, to you this might kind of look like uh, the Greek um, Hydra dragon, but actually this is the symbol of the Targaryen house and I really love House Targaryen because it is personally my favorite house out of all of the houses in uh, the Game of Thrones series. And what actually makes it really cool about it is that you don't even, you don't really even see the name of the house. Judging by the symbol, you just know what house it is. It's actually really cool that I got this. And now let's move on to night number four. Now the first gift that I got for the fourth night of Hanukkah is Chris Hardwick's guidebook called The Nerdist Way, How to Reach the Next Level in Real Life. I love Chris Hardwick as a person and I love him as a comedian and he's actually one of my favorite people I ever got to watch because I really love At Midnight and I really love his geek like references that he puts out, puts out there on his shows. I think what I really like about this book is that it's a self-help guidebook about how to accept your um, geeky self while you just go through the hardships in life. He gives out very um, hopeful and thought-provoking and very um, relatable advice to help you like uh, get better in life and I really appreciate him for that and I'm really lucky to have this book and finally the other gift that I got for the fourth night of Hanukkah is the epic Cards Against Humanity for those of you who aren't familiar with Cards Against Humanity Cards Against Humanity is almost like um, the game Mad Libs except it's um, a much more vulgar and much more raunchy and it gives out a lot of offensive humor and it's the ultimate party game to play with your friends and I played this game a couple times at certain events and a lot of us were like on the floor laughing at all of these jokes that you actually had to come up with. Basically the, the idea of the game is that you each get like a, a collection of cards and you have to like sort out which which um funny answer could answer this like um offensive question or something cards against humanity is definitely the perfect game to play if in case if you want to get some friends over or members of your family over and just uh play uh play around with this game and it's really the best game for for you to like crack a joke and everybody would just laugh and have fun about it so i'm really lucky to have this as one of my Hanukkah presents. And that's all I have for what I got for Hanukkah in this episode, so stay tuned for the last two episodes where I get to talk about more of the gifts I got this year. So be sure to stay tuned and I'll see you later. Bye, happy holidays.